These are some Dinar Guru updates, starting off with Pimpy article quote after Barzani's announcement, a government source clarifies how to pay regions share of the budget. That's right. They finally came up with an agreement. It only took 13 years, six months, 27 hours, 72 minutes, and 84 seconds to do this. They agreed to retro it all the way back to January. This makes sense. Here's the thing that's weird about this. They've done this before. Not that I'm trying to throw salt on this. This is good news. I like it. But the last time they agreed on something, some of the political blocks got in the way. Let's hope that doesn't happen. I'm glad. They finally ironed out their differences. It looks like an agreement is there. Let's keep our fingers crossed. We know if it's real when Kurdistan says they've received their money and all is over, all is well over in Dinarland. All right, Holly says there's been great expectations for the RV to begin today. Uh, the day is young and we have to see if the final release did happen overnight. Just know we're in the end days as this is coming to a close. This cannot go on much longer. All is being readied and prepared. We can clearly see the progress being made. Frank 26 article quote, a national campaign to support the Iraqi dinar. Yes, indeed, a new rate of one to one that they have been campaigning and talking about at the CBI is coming. Pay close attention to the word that the governor of the CBI is using with citizens. He told you yesterday a, com a campaign of education is now starting, and once again, are those not my exact words? All right, Mark Z, via PDK, we appear to be caught in a groundhog day today. Lots of paymasters in place, lots of bankers in place. There is nothing negative. All the folks are still in place, and Redemption Center folks are planning on being on call over the weekend. Last weekend, they were not on call. So in my opinion, we're in a better spot now than we were then. I am hearing a lot of static chatter from my Iraq and Middle East contacts. This has drug out longer than they expected. They had expected things to already have rolled out there this week. They're pushing hard. I believe we're on top of this and awfully close. All right, Bruce says uh, via Wiser Now, I don't usually do rates. I try to stay away from it. I will say this. If I told you what I knew, the rates were the ones that were on the screen. You probably wouldn't believe me anyway. We're going to be fine. Rates are the least of your worries. All right, Petra says, the finance minister said, the ministries is continuing to open up to the world to conclude the best relations, to open a new horizon of cooperation, to restore its rightful place among the nations of the world, continuing with global openness and concluding investor relations. Concluding, that's past tense, finishing out. Whatever work they're doing internationally, they're finishing up. Essentially, they're making a declaration that they're doing business, they're opening up, they want to be recognized as a sovereign country, which the G7 just did. Now they're saying they're opening up for business. It's a very, very clear statement. All right, Pimpy uh, says, looks good, you guys. We want outside investors in there. We see the Iraqi dinar gaining against the dollar again. Uh, we see other countries eager to come in and invest. We see that things seem to have quieted down. They're very stable. These are all good, positive news. That's what we wanted. That's what we got. All right, uh, Frank 26 article, quote, Vietnam Moody's raises HD banks credit rating outlook from stable to positive. Taken off currency manipulation lists and now credit rating increase. All right, lastly, Holly says, everyone has been saying that the RV is set to release this week. Everyone. We have been all poised and ready for the notifications to come out. I know the only thing we have been waiting on is the value given to the currencies. That should have been completed yesterday. Let's see what news comes out today.